We begin our journey in the early 20th century, a time when the medical profession was rapidly evolving. As doctors began to specialize, they also began to wield more power and influence. Around the same time, state laws started to grant doctors immunity, a legal protection that shielded them from malpractice suits. This immunity was initially put in place to protect doctors from frivolous lawsuits and to ensure that they could carry out their duties without fear of legal retribution. It was a well-intended law, but as with many things, it had its unintended consequences. As the decades rolled on, this immunity has been used and misused in ways that its creators could not have foreseen. It has been used to hide negligence, to protect the guilty, and often to deny justice to those who have been wronged. Then came the rise of healthcare costs. With doctors largely immune from lawsuits, the patient was left to bear the brunt of these costs. This has led to a range of societal problems, including skyrocketing healthcare costs, homelessness, and social inequality. This immunity has impacted various systems like state and federal work comp, SSDI and the VA system, reports from CBS News Boyer's Law and the GAO report on disability benefits, have highlighted how doctors are often not held accountable even when patients win their appeals after years of struggle. And then there's the case of Senator Tim Kaine's Not Just a Number Act. This act aims at improving the VA's suicide prevention efforts. But how effective can it be when doctors are not held accountable? This brings us to a very pertinent question. Is our healthcare system being used by one professional class to wage a war on other social benefits? Are they hiding behind state medical tort and work comp laws? It's time to demand change. It's time to challenge the status quo. It's time to ask for a system that puts patients before profits, a system that holds doctors accountable, a system that is fair and just. Because healthcare is not just about medicine, it's about humanity. It's about the right to live and live well. And it's high time we remembered that. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Together, let's make a difference.